Hi folks, today I'm teaching you how to do this cute little flower and um, this is pretty much what you're going to need. It's a very um, easy, quick and dirty tutorial for you. Um, I just used two different colors of yarn. Um, this is cotton yarn and I um, crochet with a 3.5mm uh, hook. And then for the center here, um, I used a smaller um, yarn and um, and I'm gonna use a 2.5 2.5 millimeter hook um, so let's get this tutorial started shall we so start off um, chaining four stitch to the first. This is going to be the center and inside here we're going to now chain two and we're going to do eight double chain double crochets sorry eight double crochets into the center okay so one And then slip stitch to the first, the first um, double crochet that you did right here, and then you're going to single chain three. One, two. I don't think you say single chain, but you're going to chain three, um, and you're going to go into the first double crochet of the, fir the first round. And uh, do a um, trip, I think you call it tremble crochet. So you go in, pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull up a loop, I mean yarn over, and pull through all the loops. So you're going to do two of these into each one. Okay, so go ahead, yarn over twice, go in, pull up a loop yarn and pull through, yarn over and pull through all of the loops on the hook. Okay, so keep going. Two of these into each stitch. So you're gonna have 16 in the end. And I'm gonna meet you right at the end of, the, um, of this uh, round, okay? Okay folks, here I am at the end of the round. Now what I need to do is basically find my first tremble crochet and go in and slip stitch right in the um right into it. Okay. Alright, so you have your circle right here. It doesn't matter if it's gonna be like this, like you know, like it looks like it won't stay flat. It will because now we're gonna do the petals on it. So you're gonna crochet one, two, and three and skip one your next which is this one and slip stitch right into it this into the the one after so you're gonna skip one and slip stitch into the next now one two and three chains and you're gonna skip one and go into the next so that's what you're gonna do all the way around One, two, 
three. Skip one going to the next. So keep going, keep going like that till the end, and I'll see you at the end of the round. Here, so I got to the end, and as you see, I have one left. I'm gonna go right into the first, the first stitch that I, I mean, the chain, the first chain, and slip stitch in there. So go into the chain here. Now we have all of these spaces where we're going to put the petals of our flower. So what we're going to need to do is one um, double crochet we're going to do one treble crochet so yarn over twice and go into the same space. Do a treble crochet. And now we're going to do a, a double treble crochet cluster. So yarn over, go into the same space, and then yarn over, pull through two, and Two again but leave these two you're gonna leave these two loops and yarn over again go in and pull through two pull through two and this time you're gonna pull through all the loops okay so here is your cluster then you're gonna do another treble crochet so yarn over twice go into the same space Here's your treble crochet and then one double crochet into the same space. This is going to be your petal. And then you're going to slip stitch right into the this space here before your three chains. Now you're going to go again into the next chain to do um, the second petal. And the second petal will be exactly like the first one. So one double crochet, one tremble, one tremble cluster, pull through all of the loops. This is our cluster. One treble crochet. And one double. And then you're gonna slip stitch. Okay, I'll show you one more. We have our double crochet. Treble crochet. Our cluster of two treble crochets. And one more treble crochet. And one double crochet. This is our petal here. We've just done. And you're gonna slip stitch. Awesome. So keep going like that, and when you reach the end, I'll see you right there. So here I am. Um, the first the first round of petals is done. Now what I want to do to do the second round is I need to basically go all the way to the back and find the space right underneath the petals. If you see, there's this stitch right here. This is where I'm gonna go 
you can, guys can see it. This is where I'm gonna go inside right here and I'm going to basically slip stitch all my chains to do the chains where I'm gonna touch then my petals, okay? So now what I wanna do is do like as many chains as you need to reach that spot. You wanna get this one underneath this petal first, okay? So you go here and you find that spot, okay? So you find the spot right underneath your petal. You go in there and you basically slip stitch in there. Okay, so this is gonna be really nothing. This is gonna be the base for the next chain where we are going to then after, um, in the next round, we're going to build our petals in. So one, two, three, and four, four chains. And you're gonna go into the next. So this is the next petal right behind, sorry, right underneath, you have the next chain. So this is going to be the place where we slip stitch again and then chain four again. Two, three, four. Go into the next. So this is next petal. You're going to go right in the back and find that stitch. Okay. Chain four. And again, find that spot. The more you do, the more like it become easy to actually spot those stitches. Mm -hmm. I think I'm done. Yep. So now that you're done, just do one, two, three, four, and you're gonna go into the same, um, the same stitch, the same slip stitch you use, and slip stitch again. So now we're gonna start um, the second round of petals. It's exactly like the first one. So one double crochet. And one tremble. A one tremble cluster. tremble and one double then you're gonna slip stitch right in the previous the slip stitch of the previous round and then again so one double crochet one tremble One tremble cluster Oops. and one tremble and one double. So keep going till the end, and I'll meet you uh, at the last petal. Done. 
okay folks so here I am I completed the round now I need to simply slip stitch after my last double crochet slip stitch into the first slip stitch the this one from the first petal then we're going to just uh, do one chain this is what I normally do to seal off the um, last stitch when I do just cut my yarn So here I have my, I have, uh, my scissors, I'm going to just cut this one. I'm going to touch now this one, the um, like shocking pink color. Um, for this one, what we're going to do is just, uh, we're going to go um, exactly in here. Um, right where you have the um, slip stitch that you made. See this like between one petal and the other, you're actually gonna go right here. This is where you're gonna touch your yarn and you're gonna touch all of the chains, okay? Now, it doesn't really matter if you see the color here because, I mean, it's not gonna show as much. That's how I did it and it really doesn't show that much, see? You don't see. So don't bother if you actually see uh, the yarn showing off a little bit. Look, I'll show you right now. Touch it. Okay. So I went in there. I'm gonna just grab my loop. And put it through. Okay. Slip stitch. Now for this you're going to chain four. So chain four. One, two, three, four. And so you're gonna go into the next, like this one. I'm gonna go into the back, find that stitch. Basically, this is exactly where you want to put your stitch. Sorry, your slip stitch. Um, so go get it. Go get it. Oops. It's just tough to look through the camera and do it.
find our next stitch. And then we're going to just slip stitch into the same. The same stitch we started our chains from. Okay. Oops. Now, let's start the petals. For this round, uh, we're gonna do one half uh, double half double crochet. So one half a double crochet and four double crochets. So one, double crochet, two, double crochets, three, I'm sorry, that is wrong. We're going to do two double crochets, one tremble right in the center. This is our tremble. One double, sorry, two doubles, so one, two, and one half double crochet. So one half double crochet, two double crochets, one tremble, two double crochets, and one half double crochet. This is gonna be our petal. And then we're gonna slip stitch right here in between the chains where we slip stitched the previous round. So half double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, one tremble, and two double crochets. So one and two. And one half double crochet. So keep going like that till the end, I'll meet you at the very end. So here we are folks, I um, finished this round and I slip stitch right here at the beginning of uh, my uh, row of petals and then as I usually do I just uh, uh, chained one just to make sure that once I cut the yarn the stitch will not fly and I cut the yarn and I'm done pretty much pretty much done but now the part fun, the fun part starts because we're basically going to go into each one of these like in between these stitches the stitches here and we're going to do more petals this is a way I do because I hate to sew um, I hate to yeah I hate sewing uh, all kind of sewing <laughs> Um, so I basically go in, um, sorry I got the wrong one, same crochet hook, go inside um, and the yarn here, see how I do it, go through here, grab the yarn, pull the yarn through, and we're going to do a chain of three, so three chain, chain three, sorry. So, do the first chain, hope you see, and then, so this is one, two, so um, here we are, we went into this stitch, the first uh, double, so right here, we got our first uh, double, uh, single crochet and then we chain three and then we skip two that's how it's gonna work we're gonna skip two um, double crochets and, and then go into the third and do our single crochet and you can do a slip stitch but I thought it was more it was easier um, because when you have to do the paddles then you need to slip stitch the paddles onto the piece then it's going to kind of be a little uh, difficult to go into that stitch if it's a um, slip stitch rather than a a single crochet so I do one single crochet here and then one two three chains and then you skip two see these it's going to skip one and two and you're gonna go into the third and pull the 
loop and do one single crochet. So one, two, three, and then you're gonna find the next. So count one, two, see one, two, and then go into the third. Pull the loop. Do one single crochet. It doesn't matter if it's loose, if you crochet loosely, um, it's totally fine. So you should have th uh, five. Four, and this is the fifth. Um, for the fifth, just do um, three. So you count one, two, three instead of two, and then you go into the fourth. It's really not a big deal. Um, sorry, I did not show So instead of two, as usual, you just skip three. So you go into the fourth. It's really not a big deal. Um, I just want to do, you could do six, but I really want to do uh, five uh, petals. Um, and it's not math, you know, it's just gonna look as pretty. Then um, you want to sli slip stitch again into the first slip stitch. Okay. There you go. Now um, for this round, we're gonna do one half double crochet. Uh, double crochets and one half double crochet so one half double crochet five double crochets Oop. and while I um, double crochets I try to also hide this annoying um, yarn piece of you know the end of where I attach my yarn just because I don't want to do it at the end it's easier if I do it as I go so one two three four five and then one half double crochet right onto our uh, single crochet here. So one half double crochet, five double crochets, crochet so repeat half double crochet and one I mean five double crochets And we are going to slip stitch onto our single crochet. See, this is um, how our flowers come along. Okay, and I'll meet you right at the end. 
So here I am, I finished I, um, my last uh, petal and as usual I slip stitch um, to the first stitch and then um, I'm going to chain one to seal my work and um, cut the yarn. So now we're gonna do the center. It's actually very nice. Even this one doesn't need any sewing. Um, I used a 2.5 millimeter crochet um, for this part. And um, let's get started. So um, you just find this round right here, right? So you have this round, you just go into the first, pretty much like we did for the petals. So you go into the first and you start your stitches. You're gonna do like all single crochets. All single crochets. Oh, sorry. Very difficult to do it watching through the camera. Um So here we are, you just do one and keep going. The count doesn't really matter, just do one, just grab each stitch right here. So one, two, if you can really see. Next, and I kind of want to get rid of this to show you better. One second. Okay. Go into the next stitch right here. these like single crochets you just anchor them on the existing work see and go in so I would say this is where the magic really happens because I used to hate to do these centers so much because I had to like sew them sew them on top and I really hated it so here's such a very easy way of doing it without having to sew anything in. So go, there you go. So then, I have the last stitch. And then I'm gonna slip stitch here. And then you basically keep, you're gonna keep going into each one and a single crochet into each one. So the next, it doesn't matter if you work loosely, don't worry about it. It's just fine. So go into each one. single crochet and single crochet it looks really pretty I'm gonna do one round and, and then close it. Okay. 
So now here, now I'll just slip stitch. And then, I'm going to break my yarn. Leave a long tail. Because now you're gonna use this uh, tail to uh, close your uh, center, uh, close the center with a um, yarn needle. Grab your yarn needle. And you're basically gonna go through, not each stitch, like you don't, it's not mathematical, just go into the previous stitches basically gonna like pull it closed. See? Here it is. Hope you really enjoyed my tutorial and thank you for watching.